it's me i'm back it's been a while since i've done a video um so a lot's happened over the last sort of year or two really since we've last seen um i'm just out in the wormless wormless low wormless low um at the moment i've been uh waiting for lewis he's joining me shortly Come in the camper van, we've got a bit of playing to do today, so I've got a few bits and bobs uh, to try out. I want to try out the solar panel, uh, battery pack that I made, lithium iron, that's going to be tried later. Uh, a few radios, a uh, bit of stuff ready. So this is the view of my camper, I don't know whether uh, I filmed my last video in my camper van. Uh, but there used to be a kitchen here. It was all a homemade version. This is a sofa that pulls out into a bed. Um, we've got a full electric solar panel on the roof, battery packs all under there. I can run all my stuff. I can even make myself a coffee. Look at that. So anyway, so yeah, I'm waiting for Lewis. I've been cooling him on Zello, but Zello's playing up. I've got a full signal, full internet. Lewis, see you there, Lewis. See the answers. Hi, James. Yep, certainly am. Lewis, I'm just making myself a coffee whilst waiting for you. Do you know how long you're going to be until you get here? Over. Yeah, I'm about five minutes away, if that. Um, so I'll park up and then I'll walk over. Are you, I, I take, are you making a coffee in the van? Yeah, yeah, I'm just having a coffee, so uh, just see a bit of filming as well. So I'll see you when you get here. So. Yep, yeah, no worries, James. I'll um, I'll give you a shout when I pull up, and then I'll, I'll walk over and I'll meet you. Add a bit more to that. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, I'll catch you in a bit. So, what's happened? A lot's happened. I'm not going to bore you. But basically, um, just do this for fun. Uh been meaning to meet up with the Lewis for a long time being way Manchester and we've been using this I've I come from uh, from Staffordshire and the quality of Zello is absolutely appalling I'm, I'm, I keep on trying to contact him the calls drop and his stalls um, I'm not impressed with Zello at all I think it's time I went to um, global PTT or a different surface yeah a different platform but anyway uh, there you go so uh, yeah, I'm going to do uh, videos a bit later on. Got my fridge there, all my drinks in. Got all my gear. We're ready to go. It's going to be a good day. So um, we'll see. Right, I'm going to go. Uh, Liam is going to be here in a few minutes and I need to get some things on charge. So this is a battery pack that I made. You probably saw this in its old form when it had a lead acid battery inside, but I'm now upgraded to lithium iron. Uh, I've got a Victron uh, solar charger, uh, Bluetooth capability, inverters inside, Anderson power poles. I'll uh, probably do a video on this at some point. Ultra bright lights. It's a great bit of kit. It's um, it's equivalent to one of these kind of Bluetti battery packs that you can get. Um, but obviously it was quite a bit cheaper. But I understand also that it's not going to be as good as. However, it is what it is and it works well. And I can charge it with this solar panel, which I'll get out shortly. Anyway, I'm going to uh, get things on charge. My coffee's looking good. And uh, I think it's time to crack up. All right, catch you in a bit. Okay, so Lewis is with me. Welcome, Lewis. Thanks, James. Thanks for having me. I've been waiting a while for you. You were a bit longer than five minutes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, Zello really let us down. However, that's quite exciting. And this isn't scripted or planned, but by chance, what are we doing today whilst we're playing? Um, well, by chance, I've brought up... Need to have a look at right. one of those. Right. Any suku. Now, you've done a video on these before, I think, haven't you? Yeah. Right, so he this. Watch, well, I, I doesn't I, even watch the channel. I, I do start, watch okay. it sometimes. <laughs> I've been very busy. Now these are uh, PSC radios, which yeah. we've just been moaning about. However, that was Zello. What's yeah. the difference? 
Well, yeah. So Zello, I, d I, mean, I don't know what you've already what you've already covered before I got it, but Zello really was wasn't up to the spot. We had massive blackouts, didn't we, on the way down? Horrendous. Um, and I think that was more down to Zello and the networks rather than yeah. just the networks. But yeah, th these are um, they're basically a, a 4G device that run on Linux that have all the quirks, all the perks, sorry, of Zello, mm -hmm. but without the the interface so you switch them on you program them to your platform yeah so these run on real ptt okay which i've not had a lot of experience with yet um and you just switch them on and they connect right so okay so w this is one one of the radios we're going to be playing with today but this isn't going to be on my channel okay uh this is for something that lewis is going to be doing later on so to have a look at these properly a bit later on we'll be doing these on your channel so yeah 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 proper review on that but i just found that interesting and i wanted to show you guys because we've just been playing with zello and it's not very good i i've for my be interested to see how these are yeah for my playing with that that that's better than zello from like a latency point of view yeah i think because zello is an app mm. there's a lot more processing behind the scenes it's because... as if there's software that just keeps on causing it to crash the amount of times yeah. on the motorway i had a full signal and i would press the ptt and it would just say connecting and it yeah. wouldn't connect yeah. and it just we had about uh, 20 minutes yeah. where we just couldn't get in touch talking. and don't forget those run really old android versions now what they're this like is 6.1 yeah i think we're on 13 now so, right yeah so the, these these just run on on linux um, so there's no issues of outdated software yeah oh brilliant yeah. right okay well listen i just wanted to show you guys that uh i'm going to turn the camera off now finish my coffee we're going to have a bit of a catch up because we've not seen each other for a long time and then we're going to do some filming for your channel so uh yeah. i'm looking forward to it. it's going to be a good day it is. right right catch you later on right so just done some filming of some uh headsets which i'm going to show you in a moment but first of all one of the microphones that i use i always have done is this homemade job it's a uhf just screws on top and then tie clip and you've probably seen this in my other videos that i've done and i don't know what you thought of the quality but lewis has now just shown me these that he's been using these rode wireless microphones and they're absolutely tiny in comparison aren't they lewis yeah i mean this is the first time i've used them today they, they literally came out the box this morning but yeah they just plug into your camera yeah fits on the hot shoe on top of the camera so that's your receiver and you can change the settings um so the db level and you can flick between two mics. Obviously, we've only got one mic here. So you just power it on and it connects. Yeah. Straight away. Cool. Yeah. I can't believe how much these have come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. And the digital, I don't know what, I don't know what digital standard they use. Yeah, digital. Um, they've come on so much since yeah. I last uh, did filming. Like I say, I've been out of the YouTube thing for a long time. Yeah. And like everyone you see now, they're all using these little wireless mics. So much better. Yeah, quite brilliant. Quite impressed. Yeah, so far it's been a good day so far, Lewis. I've enjoyed it. With uh, let's have a look at those headsets we've just oh, been yeah. trying out. <laughs> You're gonna have to look at Lewis's channel for this. There you go. But these are absolutely wicked. These are headsets, and it's full duplex. It's full duplex decked. So you don't have to wait for the other person to stop talking or start talking. You just talk on them, and we've got. What, what sort of range have we just done on these now? About 350 metres. That's the advertised range we did just slightly under, didn't we? And yeah. They were okay. Um, yeah, we did a bit of a test, didn't we, with the wind noise. But the, the Brilliant clay... quality, these are. Absolutely brilliant. That was good fun, that was. I enjoyed doing yeah, that. Yeah, that was good, yeah. So Lewis has just gone walking down the uh, country lane, chatting and filming, and I've been stood down here with the camera filming me for his channel, and uh, <laughs> it worked so well. Yeah. Really impressed. Yeah, so the red one's the base. Yeah. So this is like the repeater. That makes sense, and and the blue ones are the uh, they're called remotes. So you just switch them on and they connect. So yeah, good. For, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for you to come and uh, test it. You're the first person I've tested these. I'm honoured. Yeah. I'm honoured. Yeah. What can I say? <laughs> and and do you see you look like a pilot? Yeah. Today we've been uh, playing with radios and headsets and all those bits and bobs, and we've had a few things on charge. Um, and I'll show you this earlier on. Uh, this portable battery pack that I made. And uh, I'm going to put it on charge just to show you how it all works. Clearly, I'm showing Lewis, but we thought we'd film it as well because it might be of an interest. So I've got the simple way of charging it using the Anderson power pole. Uh, at the moment, I've got a Victron uh, MPPT solar charger controller in. 
Now there's no other way at the moment of charging this. I don't have a DC to DC or an AC charger. Uh, and to be honest, for the few months I've had this for, this is all I've needed. So I'm gonna put this on charge, show you how it's done. This is a, a solar panel that I got not so long back, probably last summer I think it was. I got it from, um, from a company on the internet and it's about 100 watts. And to be fair, you really do get quite a bit of power. I've never had 100 watts, I've had about 80 out of this and it's worked really well. Um, the adapter broke on it. It did have a USB mounted adapter there. You know those block USBs you can get, sockets with USB and a 12 volt output. But that uh, burnt out. So coming out of here now, I've got the uh, Anderson power pole. That gives me about 17, 18 volts, which is perfect for this. So I've made up these adapters, these leads. So this one, for instance, is uh, a standard one that I can use for solar panels. So I can plug that one into there. And then the other lead that I need, I've not got with me. Right, so this is the lead that I needed. So I can plug in an ordinary 12 volt or 24 volt uh, solar array to charge this device. Or I could just plug in these little plugs, which gives me that, which then goes into there. So this is now charging once I plug this in, your battery pack. And it really is as simple as that. So, just the one plug. I could always add a few more plugs, and I've also got some adapters. So if I wanted to have a splitter, I could actually have like two or three different solar panels going in there as well, if I wanted to. But for what I've used before so far, this has been absolutely fine. When I go camping, uh, go away in the caravan or go away in the, uh, the camper van, this gives us loads of power that we need. And should we need to charge it, these panels are really good. And the one thing I like about these panels is you can like rest these on the windscreen of your van or in your car, and uh, it doesn't scratch. It's, it's quite a good quality material. Um, it's nice and flexible. Does the job, it gives me probably about five amps, four or five amps, I think on the charge. I suppose as well, you could, if you were out, if you had the van parked somewhere in a car park, you could rig that up on the inside of the windscreen and leave it charging all day while you're out Absolutely walking around the could. town. Absolutely you could. On my camper van at the moment, I've got solar panels fastened onto the roof, which is great. But often when we go camping, we'll park maybe under a tree or somewhere where there's a shade. So again, this is a solar panel that can be moved around to wherever the sun is with a long lead to go into your battery packs. So it doesn't matter if you park in the shade, you can take it out and charge it. So that's how this works. So really pleased with it. It's one of the better things I've made in a long time. Everything works as it should. And it's got um, a DC to AC inverter. It's only about um, 500 watts. So it's not an awful lot of power. Well, 500 watts is all I've needed. It won't power my kettle, but it'll power all my various chargers. Um, obviously you've got your USBs at the top, fast charge USBs, and you've got two outlets. Also, power pole, Anderson power poles for your outputs as well. So uh, it works well. These lids aren't very good though. They do keep on coming off. I don't really see the point in these lids, but it does the job. And do you know what? For lithium iron, it's a 310 power battery. Just so light, just so light. And the battery performance is absolutely amazing. Powerful light. So there you go. Right, well, that's the end of today's video. It was a little bit thrown together. Uh, it wasn't really planned, but uh, I thought I'd get back into the uh, the YouTube hobby. And I just thought it will be interesting just to show you those couple of things that I was doing. So um, I'll get a few more videos up. Um, I'll do a bit more on the van, a bit more on the uh, the solar uh, battery packs and the uh, the onboard solar system for the, uh, for the, for the camper van. And uh, hopefully you'll find it interesting. Thanks to Lewis for your help today. It's been good fun. We've had a right good day. Um, I'm definitely going to explore a uh, global PTT as a, a viable option. Uh, Zello's been great over the years. You've seen my other videos. I've used this, uh, Zello for quite a lot, a long time. Um, but I'm just thinking there's better out there. 
So uh, I'll be exploring that very, very soon. Anyway, thanks for watching and catch up with me soon if you can. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye.